Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. All right, first store of the day, checking out the savers here. And it looks like we got a nice selection to thumb through. Looks like we're starting out with a Zombie Strike pistol here. It has its holster, $249, not a bad price. Usually you don't find that holster with that. And then we got the typical strong arms going on over here. Looks like they have a couple of FVJs in it, $249 as well. Nice to see some consistent pricing. And then we have a blue and red variant of one of these uh, Alpha Strike blasters. Uh, about $450, almost five bucks for that one. And moving on, we got an X-Shot Blaster here, 249. These ones are fun. They got the little action whenever you pull the trigger. You know, it's got like some kickback to it, so that one's cool. Uh, we got some type of, you know, drum-fed blaster. Missing the drum, not too sure on that one. And here we go. I've never really seen this one. The four-shot variant, similar to a Reflex, uh, 249. Don't know the name on that one particularly, but moving on, we got a Strong Arm again, also 249, loaded up with a couple of darts. So, you know... For a beginner, you know, plinking around the house, that's something nice to find right there, so that's cool. We'll be leaving that behind, though. And hiding back here, we have a boxed-up, kind of beat to shreds almost, uh, Super Soaker for about five bucks. This is motorized, so that's kind of interesting. But nothing I really need, so we'll be putting that right there as well. And before we left, I did find a reflex, speaking of which, but ooh, $3.49 for this one. It's got that special gold, you know, got to pay an extra dollar for that one, but not going to be needing that. Let's leave that behind and move on to the next store. Okay, second stop, and we're starting out pretty strong. We have a Fortnite blaster here, $4.99. This is the Strife style blaster. I believe it was called the SMG. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But yeah, for about five bucks, and it comes with its exclusive mag, the black and red one. You know, that's my favorite six round mag of all time. That one looks really nice. We'll put that to the side. We'll think about that. And over here, we have a $5.99 Boonko blaster. This one is missing its clip, unfortunately, but we'll just be sticking that there. Yeah, gonna think on that Fortnite blaster, but moving on, let's move up here. Let's see what we got. Another Boomco blaster. This one is $4.99. And next to that, we got a classic six round magazine. The very first Nerf magazine. It's just chilling and hanging out. Not too sure about that one. And then we got some more Fortnite goodness. It seems like that's all I find nowadays. There's so much of it. $4.99, special edition rocket launcher. No rocket, unfortunately. We had some stickers peeling off, so definitely put that one back, but you know, cool to see. Haven't seen that variant before. Next up, we got a Busby Blaster. We got a Cougar. It's missing its clip, unfortunately, so not really much use for that, but about $4 for that one. Sticking that back on the shelf, we're gonna move on down here, and looks like we got another Fortnite Blaster. This one, I'm not too sure the name of this either, but it's a Hammer Prime Blaster, 249. That's a really nice price. Really cool design of this one, the big muzzle and stuff, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, Hammer Prime stuff's always cool. And it looks like, if it's about four shots, it seems, uh, I would just stick with a hammer shot. Oh no, moving on down there, we got a long shot front piece. Just file everywhere, let's see how much that one is. 249, not too bad, not too bad. We'll be sticking that back as well. But yeah, that Fortnite blaster, that one's pretty cool. And moving on above that, looks like we got a Boomco blaster hiding in here. It looks like it's got a clip as well. Let's whip that one out. All oh, right, yeah, definitely has one of its little clips, and it looks like for about five bucks. Uh, from what I can tell, it seems like it's missing some other pieces. There's like pop-up shields, but we'll just be sticking that back. Nothing I really want right now. Be sticking that there. And moving down here, we got a belt blaster. This one is similar to a Vulcan, and you never really find the chain for this type of thing. So yeah, five dollars complete. You know, that's that's a pretty nice find there. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave this behind though. You know, somebody else would probably enjoy it more than me. And, you know, if they need darts, look at that. Right above it, we got a whole set of X-Shot darts for $3.50. So we'll just leave both of those behind. Really cool to see that, though. You know, it, it's really hard to find a belt for that thing. And then flipping around, let's see if we got any other stragglers hiding in this stuff. Hey, here we go. Now we're talking. We got another blaster going on. Let's see what this is. We got the Nerf Ruckus. Yeah, we'll just stick that right back where we found it. And moving on to the other aisle. Woo-wee. Somebody set this up nice and pretty for me. Let's see, it looks like somebody wanted a dollar at a yard sale, didn't work out, and it's been donated. So let's see, woo, four bucks, man. That is a great blaster for that price. I have plenty of them at this point, so we'll be leaving that behind for somebody, but man, you love to see it. And before we left, we checked out the bags, and look at this, what do you know? We have a Vulcan chain, and it looks like it's full of Whistler darts. Two buckaroos, 
Yeah, I'm gonna definitely grab that, especially for those darts, man. Those darts are a lot of fun for plinking around in the backyard. So we'll be grabbing that and heading on to the next one. All right, made it to the final stop of today's trip. And these bins are loaded up too. Let's see, we're starting out with a jammed up, pretty beat up Fortnite blaster here. This one I have not seen before. I do not know their name for this one as well. Six bucks, but I can tell it's definitely missing its priming bar handle. And what do you know, we got another one here. So yeah, definitely it's supposed to have one of those little plastic chunks hanging out of the side so you can actually prime the blaster. I don't know if it's supposed to have it on both sides or not, but we'll just be putting those both aside. Cool to see something new though. And here's one that I've gotten about two or three of myself. Got Garrett, my buddy, one of these ones before. But yeah, six bucks. These ARLs, they're showing up like crazy. And here's one we haven't seen in quite a while. It seems like everybody has a little soft spot in their heart for the Hyperfire. But yeah, five bucks, man. That's a pretty good deal on those. But at this point, I don't really need one, so we'll just be sticking that back for somebody else to find. And sitting that aside, we got a Flip Fury in here. Two dollars. That's a really nice price for that blaster. But hold up. What is this? $2.99. We got ourselves a Busby Sentinel. I do not have one of these at all. Look at this. Air Warriors Ultimate Busby Sentinel. Really rad. It's got the metal priming bar. $3. I am definitely getting that thing. I have wanted one of those for quite some time, and I've never come across one. Moving on, though, we got a Raptor Strike here. $5. It's got its handle. It's got its magazine. Everything's in good shape on that one. And we got another one right here. Same price, but look at that. No handle. Not even usable. So... We'll be putting that aside, and then here we have a double breach, $4. And beside that, we have the Nerf Dog. Look at this, we got the Sonic Ice Edition tennis ball launcher thing, you know, pretty, pretty interesting. Down there, we had a Vortex Blaster as well, and then we have another Fortnite Blaster. Haven't seen this one before either. Kind of looks like a uh, Tommy Blaster. As far as I could tell, it's like a Springer, definitely. Uh, I was looking down here at the moment, and I was like, is this flywheel? Nah, definitely not. So Tom, uh, Tommy style blaster, you know, it's okay. Then we got a Mega Thunderhawk. Let's check out how much this thing is. $8, you know, that's not terrible, especially since it still has its clip attached. So that's pretty cool, but I've picked up one of those before, so not really looking for one right now. And then we have the Nerf Sling Fire, similar to the Sentinel, but not even close as far as performance goes. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put these Fortnite blasters back in this bin. And we're going to check out this Sentinel real quick, make sure everything looks nice on it. It looks like it's missing a little piece of plastic there, but, you know, other than that, you know, $3, I'm not complaining. This thing is rad. Let's check this out and head home. And that'll do it for this trip. We went home with some pretty cool stuff. We got ourselves some Whistler darts inside of a Vulcan chain, and we got one of the coolest blasters of all time. We got ourselves a Busby Sentinel. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you want to check out some more of my thrifting adventures, click on that playlist. If you want to see some of my gameplay, go for that one. Thanks again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.